It's another K-Town beat. YouTube, 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 it's your boy, Mr. Outliner. I'm back. We doing a transition today. And then I got something special for y'all coming up. I'm going to let y'all know at the end of the video, though. At the end, we're going to get into the haircut right now. But we doing a transition from he used to wear a taper. We're going to give him a mid-fade. He got mid-fade with ways. Now, the tools that I'm going to be using... On the top, it's going to be a one and a half, right? We are not using the one guard here. Not going to use the one guard. Only two guards we're going to use, the one and a half and the zero guard, right? Which is the zero guard with the Stylecraft, uh, the Rebels, would be... Similar to not using to to using a half guard with the walls, right? Not the exact same, but similar, right? So I know on my last video somebody said that the zero guard with the stylecraft is the same as the half guard. It's not because I use both of them and it's a slight difference. The half guard is still lower, but you can take this these same steps and not use the one guard. So first we just get our guideline all the way around the head. And then we we get ready to jump into the phase. Okay, so here we got the one and a half, like I told you. We're going to open it two clicks down, right, from close. Two clicks down from close because I don't want to close it all the way because I want to see what the texture of his hair is, what it's going to do, how it's going to react. Once I see that and I see, oh, okay, it's cool, I can close it all the way, then I close it all the way. So that's what you want to do. Uh, when you're dealing with waves, you want to take your time, go over the waves because you can really cause light spots or, you know, um, you can make the hair seem like it's thinning or patchy or something like that. You'll run over a swirl and then it'll look like you plugged them. So once we got all the hair down, same length, how we want it, we take the same one and a half guard we're going to go up about an inch, right? Because that's where I want the mid-fade to sit. That's mid-fade. That's midway. So we're coming up midway, right? We're using our biggest guard to debug and go up to where we want our fade to sit, right? So that's what we're doing. We went up with our uh, one and a half guard uh, open, and then we work our way all the way around the head. So then after we use our one and a half guard to its fullest ability, then we come back with our zero guard. This is a zero guard. We come back, we clean it, and we just want to take the bottom line out, right? So this is all we're doing right here. We're just taking this bottom line out. We're trying to remove it. So we're keeping the fade up where we did with the one and a half, but we're working everything up under it so we can keep the fade exactly where we want it. Thank you. 
So then after that, we want to come back and clean, still trying to remove that bottom line, right? So we kind of working our way down. Instead of fading up, we kind of fading down with this. Uh, so now I come back, no guard, almost closed, two clicks away, use the corner of the blade. We want to work our way all the way around the head. Now, if you pay attention, this is this will help you cut faster. This will help you cut more consistently of the same look, you know, the same look all the way around the head, right? It's easier to fade and make everything look the exact same all the way around, basically, right? So take your time, use the corner of the blades. We are not really worried about right here. If it's other dark spots, you know, we just want to go through our steps. After we go through all our steps, then we come back and do the detail and we find little spots that we want to take our clean up, right? So just work your way all the way around the head and then we'll come back and clean up certain spots.
Now here I want to come in where I started the guideline when I first made the guideline when I ran my trimmer through it. I can still see the line there a little bit. So what I want to do, I want to come back and use my trimmer and I clean that up too. You see me just using the corner of the blade, knock it out. It's starting to come together the way I want it to come together, right? So remember, just take your time, follow your steps, do the exact same thing all the way around the head. Everything will work, work itself out. It'll come out very consistent. Now after that, I can kind of start working on whatever I see that I think needs to be touched up or spots that I feel like a little bulkier because sometimes when you're dealing with waves, everything doesn't just flow. The, the pattern of the waves change and then you have dips in the head, you know, things like that. So everything might not come out exactly how you want it so you have to go in and customize it i call it customizing i call it detailing the fade right you see it, you pick your spots you see it you make everything line up so here i'm just going back over the same um guards that i started with and i'm just using more of the corner of the blade to to customize it right when you start detailing it and customizing it, you're just using the corner of the blade because you're not trying to make more guidelines. The purpose of using the corner of the blade is because for not making more guidelines is to like help you blend. It's like a feathering type technique, right? So that's what we're doing right here. And we'll continue to work our way all the way around the head till we're done. And then we'll jump into the lineup. Now, after that, you want to get your Mr. Outliner Detailing Mist. If you don't have some, get you some. I'm telling you, it's going to make it crispy. But if you don't believe me, just watch this. You know what I mean? So get your spray. You spray it. Saturate it. Get you a brush. Brush it down. You can use a comb. Comb it. Comb it down. Do whatever you got to do. You see this lineup? It's kind of, this line is like round, right? We don't want to make it round like that. We want to try to get it to be, you know, to fit his head, right? It's not about making it straight across all the time. It's about what fits and trying to keep the integrity of the line. That's what you want to do, right? And you see, look at this. The Mr. Outline of Detail and Misses the Truth. Right here, I got the Gamma One Hitters. I got the Blade, the D2 Blade. I like them, right? I know y'all see me use wild clippers to detail this. Dope clipper too. Dope trimmer too. But I like these too. I like this blade better, right? Because this is a deeper tooth blade. With deeper tooth blades, you can grab more hair, right? Less work. You can still get a sharp line. You know, things like that. So, I like this blade, right? So... You see how crispy the line is? We didn't compromise where his cowlicks are, right? We went under the cowlicks, but we still want to make it look like he has a line there, which he does. It's light. It's very light, but it's workable. Once we put our enhancements on it, look out. He going he gonna to be on and popping. You know what I mean? So... It's not about going into the dark parts of the hair to make it look like it's a line. A lot of times barbers get caught up in that, and then that's where you start saying, oh, it's pushback. Now, I had clients come to me. They want their hairline to be perfect like this. If I can't make magically make every hairline 
great. Some people come in, their hairline already pushed back, hairline already been messed up from previous barbers, but you want me to fix it. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. I'm sorry. It's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? And then when you do it, then, you know, they got a problem with everybody they go to. You can clearly see that I don't push people back, right? So if I had to push you back, it was necessary, right, when, when you're doing it. Because you can go back to all my videos, I don't push people back. Sometimes it's necessary, though. Don't get it confused. Sometimes if you, you have to because you don't have anything to work with. You'll just be cutting skin. You know, so here, if you take your time, you'll make it work. Okay, so here we got color. I know y'all don't really see me using color too much, right? I normally use hair fibers because I feel like it's, it's you know, it builds on top of the hair better. Color sometimes it just stains the skin. Sometimes you can get it on the hair, a full hairline, and it still looks good. But a lot of times, like right here, it'll stain the skin. So it'll make it appear to be full, right? So in the... The color that I'm using, I think his name is OG Walker. This stuff is the truth on the cool because you don't have to mix it. You pour it straight into your into your spray gun and you good. No water, no alcohol, no nothing. Right? It's spray and it spray consistently. It doesn't clog or anything, right? So and I'll put the link in the description where I got this airbrush gun at. I think it was like $69 on uh, Amazon. I'll put the link in my description. Make sure you go to my description. Now, after I use the color, I come back and I use hair fiber. The hair fiber that I use is gold fiber. I leave all this stuff in my descriptions. If you wanna know anything that I'm using, I leave it in the description. Click on the link, it'll take you straight to it. Boom, you got it. The same thing I'm using, you can use, right? Along with my products. So all of this, all of the stuff is always in the description box if you need it, right? If I got discount offers, it's gonna be in the description box. Right now, look how look how that look already. And notice when I use the enhancements, I did not make a line. I put it directly on the line that I made before enhancements. The reason why I did that is because once these enhancements go away, he stuck with the original line that I showed you from the beginning. This is temporary. This will last three to four days. The topic of wear off faster, the color, it'll start fading three or four days, depending on how many times he washes hair. But today though, oh, today though, he on and popping, you dig what I'm saying? So, you know, enhancements, if you use them right, they can be a great thing, right? They can be, they can be nice. So, we made this whole haircut come together. We used color, we used uh, hair fiber. We did not use the one guard right we use the gamma one here the quitters we use the rebels the star crafts right so we 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 made all this come together with just a few tools and you can do the same thing with the same tools or different tools i don't try if if the tools are good they good so if i ever told you a tool was good it's good right I use it, I, I, if I tell you I like it, I like it, for the reasons I like it. I always tell you, use what feels good to you in your hand. Don't worry about, oh, Mr. Outliner used this, so I need to use this. That could be true, 
But if it don't feel good in your hand and it's just not working for you, it's just not working for you. Don't mean it's not a good tool. It just means it's not working for you. Right? So, again, this is the haircut. We got the mid fade. He on and popping. Uh, the special announcements I had, I had. It won't be in this video. It should be in the next video. I'm just waiting on my code. I got y'all a discount code for the Rebel Clippers, Starcraft, Gamma. I got y'all a discount code coming. You know what I mean? So all of this stuff will be in the description. Even if I put this video out today and it's not there today, as soon as I receive it, I'll go back and update my description box and it'll be on my future videos also so remember to check the description box now let me know down in the comment how y'all like this haircut how it came out you know give me some feedback man i need some feedback from y'all sometime you know what i'm saying let's get it let's let's have a conversation or something you know what i'm saying but anyway uh don't forget like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend you know how we do it until next time little peace and hair grease i'm out